All right, all right. So I'm very, very excited because I just got my blood drawn again, as you can see, right in here. Got a little prick. I went to Dynacare in Toronto and I had them uh, do a blood draw because in a few days I'm going to the doctor to get my testosterone results. My free testosterone, my total testosterone, estrogen, LH, FSH. Um, a couple months ago, a few months ago, three, maybe three-ish months ago, I got my testosterone results. But that was when I was undergoing an injury and I, my physique wasn't at its prime, um, not in the least. So now I'm doing it when I put back a lot of muscle. And what's really impressive is the fact that I was gaining muscle. And I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna show you guys my testosterone results. So physique is pretty big right now, actually very big. Um, about 170 to 174, I've been fluctuating around here. Not as lean as I've been in the past, but fairly lean. So, we're gonna get my testosterone results, then we're gonna uh, follow that up with a, um, a, a my DEXA scan to see if I gained um, any muscle over the last two months since my last DEXA, and to see where my body fat's at. Um, so all interesting variables, and the idea is to press upon you that look, I'm a natural. I've always been natural, and I'm showing you all my numbers, and actually, I think that everyone, I think all these fitness professionals that are natural, I think they should, you know, for a year, get their blood work done every three months and show that consistency, because it's very, very difficult. From what I've been told, um, talking to different experts, Brad Pilon, um, Christopher Walker, these guys, it's very difficult to have consistent numbers that are within the natural realm when you're cycling on and off gear, on and off gear. It's, it's, it's practically impossible. Um, so I'm very excited about uh, about doing the test and getting the results. And I'll be honest, I haven't my training. I haven't been as diligent the last two months as I could have. You know, it's summertime. I'm going out and eating a ton. Not really tracking my calories and macros all that much. I'm uh, you know for the last couple months I was only doing two workouts a week and I was kind of skipping legs a bit. So. Um, but the last couple weeks I've really been dialing it in because I want to have that want to have some gains. So Stay tuned in one week I'm gonna drop the uh, Kino life episode 3. I'm gonna show you some awesome stuff some training footage Some boxing footage the DEXA scan the testosterone and some life lessons. So I'm really excited. I hope you guys uh, uh, Are excited too. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh wait, let's get a little physique update um, here. Let's put this down right here. All right. I think the last time I did my measurements, my waist was about 31, 31 and a quarter chest 43 and arms are back up to 16 inches I've got my back is doing a lot just like the birds that fly we're singing their sweet songs like nothing could be wrong so that is the physique We've got it right no worries inside let's get the shoulders in there so, I'm very excited to drop the episode for you. Um, and uh, one more point here. Um, I'm really happy with the channel. It's gotten a lot of, a lot, a lot of positive, positive comments and um, expression has been coming forward. I know that I went through a tricky period where there's a lot of, a lot of hate, a lot of unwarranted hate um, that was stirred up. But uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. You know, even still, I know there's people out there that realize how many, how many um, fake natties there are that are trying to push supplements or push bullshit programs. And the reality is that my philosophy that I teach with Kino Body evolved out of the fact that I was uninterested in going the drug route. In fact, I just thought that was silly, and I thought that kind of catered to that dorky kind of over-the-top big look. I was I was always wanting that lean, crisp Hollywood look where you're, you know, a guy like me that's 5'10 is like 170, 175 max, and you look great in clothes, you know? Um, so, 
I really do think that more of these guys that are, you know, natural on YouTube, on Instagram, should go and at least do like three, four tests every three months, show their numbers, show their total free testosterone, est estrogen, you know, because LH, FSH, because if you're doing gear, something's gonna fucking get out of whack. You know, even if you cycle off it, and maybe your estrogen's high, you know, the, you can't control everything. So, it's easy for me, because I haven't touched anything, but, you know, some of these guys, who knows, we'll see. But, I'm really, really excited, because I took something that was bad, where I was getting all this, this, this ridiculous hate about using drugs, which was completely wrong, and now, I may very well be one of the few people on YouTube that's actually showing their numbers consistently, and it's like, if you want to find someone that has the physique that you want, that's natural, who else is there that's showing the numbers? <sighs> I'm really excited right now. Um, and yeah, my physique right now, where it's at, I'm pretty happy with the size. When I'm at the gym, I just fill up and I'm huge um, from my standards, maybe not your standards, but I, I do want a bit more definition. I want to get a bit more lean, leaner. Uh, I don't like being too big. This guy like me at 5'10", you know, you get too much size and you start to look stockier and I prefer to look like kind of leaner and more, you know, muscular but not like like bulky and stocky. Um, something to think about. So that's also another reason why it's probably not a good idea to go to run the gear because guys that are like, you know, average height, it just kind of makes you look a bit shorter and, stock, shorter and stockier. Now, uh, that's it. Oh, and like, I really messed my eye up badly. I woke up two days ago and my eye was killing and it's hurting even more. So I gotta go to the doctor tomorrow and get it checked out. See how it's all red there? It's, that's not supposed to be like that. Look at this one. See how much normal, how much more normal that looks? So my eye's been stinging like a bitch, but in any case, you know, that's life. I'm gonna get checked out and see what's going on. And actually, that's when I go to, to go back to my martial art training. Um, we train primarily for street self-defense, and that's actually one of the most effective techniques you can do is finger jab, right, to the eyes. A um, couple of cool things, it's really, really fast. When your muscles are relaxed, you're a lot quicker um, than if you're tensed, and um, you get more reach than fist is here, fingers are here, so you get an extra three inches or so. Um, and then if you can just tap someone, like you're, the pain uh, nerve endings on your on your your receptors on your on your uh, eyes are about 50 times more sensitive than your skin. So you just like hit someone in the eye, and they're like out of, they're out of commission, you know. And I feel that right now with this eye, I'm in so much pain. But just imagine, you know, if someone is if you're ever in a life or death situation, one of the best things you can do is just right like fucking get them in the uh, eyes, uh, kick them right in the groin, and then their you know hands are up here, and then their hands are down here, and then fucking elbow the face. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't started one of my programs, then what are you doing? Kinobody.com slash tool. I'll put a little um, thing on this video for you. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Good morning, Snapchat. My eye feels so much better. And the pupils are a lot more normal. So this is good. This miraculously healed itself. I should probably tell you I'm not human. I'm a cyborg. I'm a cyborg. A artificial organism. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know. So now I gotta drink lots of coffee and then go to the gym, work out my legs, and then get some Chipotle. Nice. Trade in the little brother. Strong. Six reps. Hey, Central Intelligence, my brother. And what's, what's up? What's going on? What's going on? He, he, right he follows the channel? Yo. Right on, man. Thank That's you. sweet, Yo, dude. We get a picture. Yeah, too. yeah.